Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Our today's topic is how to solve trigonometric equations. The equations can be of various types. These are the few examples of trigonometric equations. Now let's see how we are going to solve trigonometric equation. Well, in trigonometric equations, we have to follow certain specific steps. Let's see what are those steps. Step number one, identify the quadrant. Then we find its basic angle. And then we sketch that basic angle in the mentioned quadrant, which we have identified in step number one. And then measure the angle within the range from zero to 360 degree. And finally, adjust the angle according to the range of the question. That's it. These are the five steps to solve any trigonometric equation. So let's jump into it without any further ado. Now the first step is we have to identify the quadrant. We know that add sugar to coffee, tan theta is negative. So tan theta is negative in the second and in the third quadrant. So we identify the quadrant. The theta is either in the second or in the fourth quadrant. This is the first step in the series. And the second step is finding the basic angle. We know by definition basic angle is always positive. So consider positive one instead of negative one. Now take the inverse. Basic angle is 45 degree. This is the second step. And then we have the third step. In the third step, we have to make a sketch. Sketch of that basic angle in the set quadrants. That means second and the third. Basic angle is 45 and the 45. So the first angle is moving from the positive side of x-axis till here. To the first angle, which is theta in this case, is 135 and the second one is 315. First step is the same. Identify the quadrants. Cos theta is positive in the first and in the first or in the fourth quadrant. So theta is in either first or fourth quadrant. This is the identification of the quadrant. Then we have the basic angle. We will find the basic angle, cos of alpha, 0 0.46, take the inverse. So the cos inverse of 0 0.46, the basic angle is 62.6. This is the second step and the third step. In the third step, we are going to sketch this. We are going to sketch this, where we are going to sketch this? In the first and in the fourth quadrant because cos is positive. Now make this angle 62.6 in the first as well as in the third, in the fourth quadrant. Now here in this trigonometric equation, we don't have one trigonometric ratios. So first of all, we are going to convert this into one. So divide both sides by cos, we get tan theta tan theta is equal to 2. Now this equation is in only one ratio which is tan. Example number 4 again we have a trigonometric equation and this equation has only one trigonometric ratio but the problem is the power is 1 and the power is 2 so it means here we have to do suitable substitution so that the given equation can be transformed into a quadratic one. We will solve for these two equations these two values of y separately first of all 0 0.5 for y equals to 1 so therefore the final answers are these five we will write these answers in ascending order to 0 120 240 and 360